Hi, we're Joe and Timo, an English-Italian couple sailing around the world on our recently converted ex Vonde Globe Open 66 with our son Nemo and puppy Solo. One of the big modifications we made during our refit was to add a new third force day. Force days are part of the rigging that run from the top of the mast to the bow of the boat. They are used to support both the mast as well as the head sails which are attached to them. We already had two force days but wanted one more to give us more easily a larger range of sail configurations and also because it adds an extra support for the mast. At the moment we have a twisty sail here and after we have the head sail on the end of the bow and we want to add one stay approximately in this position. Forever three, three jib plus cod zero and, uh, and bow split. To add this new stay, we had to take the mast down as we needed to drill new holes in it to attach the stay to. Our mast is a prominent feature of our boat, being nearly 30 metres long and made of carbon fibre. Carbon fibre allows it to be both strong and rigid, whilst being significantly lighter than traditional materials like aluminium. Carbon also has excellent stiffness, allowing more fine adjustment of the tension and shape of the sails to optimise performance. We had to be careful to ensure the weight of the mast would be evenly distributed on the supports whilst it was horizontal. To add an additional fore stay, we also needed extra running back stays to support the mast at this new position. This meant we needed to drill a total of four new holes in our mast, two for the fore stay and two for the running back stays. We positioned the holes carefully to ensure they were parallel before starting to drill. Carbon is a difficult material to drill, so we had to take extra care to drill with a controlled speed and to cool the carbon with an air compressor as we drilled to prevent the carbon from heating up and delaminating or cracking. We discussed with the builder of our mast the best place to drill the holes for these attachments and he explained that the mast had been reinforced around the position of the spreader. But remember, here we've, we've got about 200 reinforcement and here we've got about 400 full body reinforcement. The mast builder, the guys who made this mast, he gave to us the exactly position where there is the reinforcer and where we can drill and the additional stay and a running back stay, they don't give any kind of fragility to our mast. This part is the part where is the reinforced target up to 200 is a 9 millimeter poor carbon fiber. Below, because there is not only the spreader, but there is also the, the diagonal, the D3, there is a poor reinforced 400 and after staggered. But it's, it's staggered, you know, it's staggered by inch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ones, by inch, by inch. You imagine it's going like this and it's the next one, and the next one, and the next one. We glued four ferrules into these holes using a two-part high-strength epoxy glue. These ferrules reinforce the structure and help to distribute the force more evenly. Once this was done, we put the mask back up. But first, we used the opportunity of having it down to give it a sand and a new coat of paint. Putting the mask back on also involved reattaching and tensioning all of the current rigging. To get the correct tension on our rig, we also need to use a hydraulic jack to jack up the mast and slide wedges underneath. Next, it was time to hoist up the new stainless steel 12mm wire stay to attach the top end to the mast. 
Our plan was to lash the top of the stay to the mast using high strength spectra rope threaded through the new ferrules in the mast. Therefore we sanded the terminal eye of the stay to ensure it wouldn't chafe the rope. We hoisted the stay using the halyard we plan to use for the sail on this new stay. Since this halyard comes from the top of the mast, we threaded a low friction ring onto this halyard, which we then lashed to the mast to use as a guide for the halyard to make sure the forces are in the right directions when the sail is hoisted. And this was how it looked when it was finished. So first I hoisted up the stay and then also Timo to make the lashing to attach it to the mast. Okay. To make the attachment for the running back stays, we spliced dog bones into the ends of pieces of spectra rope, and we then ran this rope through the ferrules in the mast. These dog bones prevent the spectra from coming out of the holes. Run dog bones. Dog bones are short pieces of stainless steel rod that, as the name suggests, are shaped like dog bones, with a tapered middle section and the two ends being proportionally wider. Okay, before to suck too much. Now we put inside the dog bones. Finally, we spliced the running backstays onto the other end of these pieces of spectral rope, which had the dog bones in. We checked that the stay is parallel to the others and mark the position to make the chain plate to attach the bottom end of the stay to the boat. Nice. Next we needed to make the chain plates themselves. Chain plates are what connects the rigging, like this new stay, to the hull of the boat. They're very structurally important, as if they break, it can cause the mast to come down. And this good chain plate, why is two? Because below the deck here, there is, a, there is one wall. You see? There is one wall. The wall is one inch something large. This is the wall. Okay. But this is the system, like it's made in the boat. Is a wall is cut, but the two chain plate in stainless steel, they bend and they rejoin before to pass the deck. Yeah, the cut is uh, one cut for uh, 200 millimeter. We built ours from two aluminium plates, which we attached to the structural wall in the bow. First, we shaped the top edge. <laughs> so that they looked like this. Then we drilled holes in both the aluminium plates as well as the structural wall so that we could bolt the chain plates around the wall. To access this area, Timo had to squeeze into our super skinny bow. We also had to cut out a section at the top of the wall so that we would have space to bend the chain plates together so that they could come out through the deck through the same hole. We then also cut the deck yes, so that the top of the plates were joined together above deck to attach the stay to. Congratulations, another hole in your boat. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we needed to bend the plates so that they would join together above deck.
Then we cut the stay to the right length. And fitted a star lock terminal onto the bottom end of this new forestay. To do this, we first slid the socket component over the wire rigging. We then used a screwdriver to unravel the outer strands to expose the central core. Next, we slid the wedge component over the central core of the wire. You see? Come close. Okay. And reposition the outer strands. Watch your eyes. It's very nice. Finally, we screw on the bottom part and tighten it all up with spanners. We attach our new stay to the chain plate using a turnbuckle. Since turnbuckles are adjustable, this also gives us the ability to tighten the stay to the correct tension. We sealed all the foam core that was exposed from the cut with epoxy and resealed it with Zika. Now we try to pull out the and we put on the desk. We try to pass to you from the back. To use that one day. So here's the final version. We attached to our new stay the tough luff that was originally used on our front four stay before it had been replaced with a furler. A tough luff is a foil system which attaches to the four stay as an easy and efficient way of getting the head sails up and down stainless steel cable with a tough laugh. And finally, all that was left was to cut and attach the running backstays. Backstays provide additional support for the mast, counteracting the forward force exerted by the headsails. Since this new forestay attaches to the mast at a different position than the existing forestays, we needed additional running backstays to support the mast at this new position. Now, suck and distribution. This one are a bit older. Three stay plus the bow sprit. With the one boat with the ta ta ta. Normally the, the boat like uh, MV at the moment, they use it uh, four uh, stay, that is three plus the bow sprit.
Esta. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, it helps us a lot if you can do the usual and like, subscribe and comment. And if you're able to help us a bit more and share it with your friends, that would be awesome. If you really want to see more frequent content from us, the best thing you can do to help us to get more out there is to sign up to our Patreon or Coffee community. Thank you.